guys, it's happening. The competitor to ChatGPT is being released as we speak by Google. Um, I just saw the uh, article on the uh, Google blog. Uh, and yeah, they're introducing BARD. Uh, they're saying obviously it's the most profound technology they're working on today i.e. AI uh, it's helping doctors detect diseases earlier or enables people to access information in their own language uh, so yeah they're introing BARD um, I think from what I've read as well they're releasing it initially with their lightweight model so there's a bit of a uh, preview here of what it could look like uh, ironically the return button is similar to chat GPT uh, but yeah like you can use BARD to plan a baby shower apparently um, you use BARD to simplify complex topics like explaining new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine year old uh, you can get lunch ideas from what's in your fridge um, but yeah, they're releasing it initially with their lightweight model version of uh, LAMDA. Uh, this is a much smaller model and requires significantly less computing power. It enables them to scale to more users, which will hopefully give more feedback. Um, and they're going to combine external feedback with their own internal testing to make sure BARD's responses meet a high bar for quality, safety and groundedness, which is interesting. Um, and they're excited for this phase of testing to help them continue to learn and improve BARD's quality and speed. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this actually works. You know, is it going to replace featured snippets? Um, is it going to return a mixed set of results with shopping? Like you might say... Uh, you might mix image results, which he obviously already does now, uh, with mum. So it's going to be uh, interesting how this works its way into the Google search results for us SEOs and people who use Google. Um, is it, how's it going to work on mobile? You know, will it work with voice search? Um, you know, how is it actually going to work in principle? practically as well um, they're saying here that uh, it's about helping developers innovate with AI so beyond our own products we think it's important to make it easy safe and scalable for others to benefit from these advances by building on top of our best models next month we'll start onboarding individual developers creators and enterprises so they can try our generative language API uh, with a range of models to follow over time we intend to create a suite of tools and APIs that will make it easy for others to build more innovative applications with AIs. So they are also going to open this up, just like OpenAI's uh, API. It looks like you'll be able to actually use Google's uh, AI going forward for development. It's going to be interesting to try and understand how this will work with generative AI and content. You know, do they trust their own models to produce uh, lightweight content as well as maybe long form content that is going to require facts and references? Uh, how will they watermark stuff that is generated like that so that content isn't being generated by AI that was initially generated by AI? You know, where does that line stop? How do you keep regenerating content? Um, that isn't watermarked and perhaps could already have been generated by AI itself. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays against just human writers using experience rather than their knowledge of the internet. Um, is new content going to win by humans just going out there and experiencing certain topics that a machine can't do by itself? Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting play over the next year to see how this builds into search, but also how it just builds into general information architecture. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to it, but also slightly apprehensive at the same time. Uh, I love AI. I, I love using new tools, um, image generation, as well as new text models. But, you know, how is this actually going to play out with Google? 
let's keep an eye on, out on it when I get any more news on its release I'll release another video uh, and let you know so yeah see you in the next one over and out